Riot announced the card Valfeast is going to be rotated at the end of March. One of the goals of rotation is to make sure that every region has strength and weaknesses, but as time goes on, it's easy for those lines to get blurred. If cards get added for specific archetypes, they can end up being too powerful in more decks than the one it was intended for. Clearly, this is something Alawi knows a thing or two about, with Eye of Nagake Boros, Tentacle Smash, Riptide Sermon, and Watchful Idol being played in so many different decks without Alawi. If a region has weaknesses, they are supposed to go to other regions to solve those issues. Shadow Isle removal has always been the absolute best the game has to offer. Vengeance will always kill one unit, Ruination will always kill everything, but Shadow Isle also has the best small damage based removal with Valfeast. The developers want to focus on the kill aspect of Shadow Isle cards. Valfeast doesn't fit this description anymore because it often kills something that's almost dead, but not quite. In this case, since other regions also do damage removal, we really focused them in on this kind of a thing of like, when Shadow Isles kills a unit, uh, it's more about like making sure it's dead and uh, it has some conditions on it, but it, they will often do kind of like non-damage based removal. And then rotating out things such as Vile Feast uh, that were kind of giving them the option to also like pick off a nearly dead unit. Uh they're removing, they're rotating Vile Feast? They're rotating a card that's been in the game for three years? Bro. What? Okay, listen, it actually, I think that makes sense. It actually, like, when they explain like that, it makes sense, right? Valfeast, what is it doing? Like, okay, I would argue, like, yeah, Valfeast is like the ping one, which doesn't really fit in Shadow Owls, but it also drains. And drains is definitely, like, a Shadow Owls thing to do. But uh, Shadow, like, Valfeast has always been, like, the card to play as soon as you start going to the Shadow Owl region. It's probably, like, been the best spell in the game for three years now. They actually, like, just, just flipped the switch and said, yeah, we're finally getting rid of it. Can you imagine playing Runeterra without Valfeast? I love this. I think it's, I think it's smart. I think it makes a lot of sense. Uh, zooming them in on like that actually killing stuff. And like, like, for example, I, I imagine Hate Spike is staying because you kill your own unit to deal three damage. That makes sense, right? This is really weird, but I, I'm happy with this. This is the kind of change and those blurred lines that we need to restore. Another strong hint that was dropped was the Avros and Sentry turning into the Ceaseless Sentry. So the original Alive version will be leaving the format with rotation too. And, yeah, there uh, may be one card in the variety set that is very clearly uh, ringing the death knell for someone else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got another one confirmed. Avros and Sentry from Freljord is also getting rotated. That's another one. And it, it makes sense. What is that card even doing in Freljord? So they literally killed the Avros and Sentry. They literally murdered it. So it, it's not really a rotate. It's more of a death sentence, right? What is the name even? The Ceaseless Sentry. Avros and Sentry will now forever be the ceaseless sentry. Let me know what you think about Valfeast being rotated in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. All of this information was gathered from the LOR report interview on YouTube with Greg Travitz and John Mormon. Make sure to check it out and leave a sub for more Rune Terror related news.